Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, the 8th of May. And this morning, I'd like to do the May FTSE market review from an Ichimoku cloud chart perspective. We're going to look at the FTSE 100, FTSE All Share, and the FTSE 350 sectors to keep a tab, uh, a finger on the pulse, so to speak, of the FTSE 100 sector rotation taking place. Here's the usual disclaimer. And as mentioned, FTSE 100, FTSE All Share, and the FTSE 350 sectors. So we're going to jump straight into the Pro Real Time platform. Starting off with the FTSE All Share, we can see uh, this index had a uh, fairly long period of consolidation after making new highs, pulling back, lost support of the top end of the cloud, sliced through uh, the cloud, rebounded from old lows from uh, February. February lows, grinded back up. Now it's uh, fighting uh, resistance here at the bottom end of the cloud. Front end of the cloud still indicates somewhat of a uh, negative position in terms of the, 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 the chart, the cloud rolling over. Price action is still below the cloud and is digging into the cloud chart resistance with the top end of the cloud here as a key resistance zone. So this week is going to be critical to see if we can uh, collapse through the cloud and we're going to uh, move lower uh, in, in continuation of the front end of the cloud indicating that there might be some weakness to come. But the cloud remain a key resistance zone for now for the FTSE uh, 100. FTSE all share very similar pattern. It's uh, now broken. Uh, it's, it's, last week it broke through the top end of the cloud. This week it's critical for upside momentum to be maintained. We got these old highs as upside targets for resistance, but it's going to be critical to see if these top end of the cloud will be holding of support. If it's not going to hold a, uh, a support, we're looking at the bottom in the cloud as the next key level. And then uh, if it collapses through the bottom in the cloud, we are looking at a significant downtrend uh, coming. Front end of the cloud indicate that we've had, uh, we've got a, 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 a you know, the risk of a downtrend emerging. As the uh, cloud is twisted to the front, we call it the cloud twist. Yeah, so there is the downside risk in terms of the, um, you know, in, in terms of the FTSE rolling over. Okay. FTSE 350, also very similar to FTSE All Share, broke past cloud chart resistance, critical for cloud chart, uh, top end of the cloud to remain a support zone. If support fails, we're moving lower and we'll be testing the bottom end of the cloud. Yeah, so it's at a critical juncture to see if we're going to have upside momentum or a downside correction. Front end of the cloud paints a negative picture overall because the front cloud indicate that there's the start of a, of a medium term downtrend uh, taking place. Right, we're going to look at the different sectors now, auto parts, struggling to maintain the momentum above the cloud. Price action is, is within the cloud, it's fighting resistance at the bottom in the cloud. Front end of the cloud indicates some downside to come. We need to see a breakout past the top end of the cloud for this, uh, for this market to be interesting, this sector to be interesting. But overall, it looks like it's rolling over with downside risk uh, to the old lows here in terms of potential targets. So we've not yet seen a breakout past cloud chart resistance. Banks is testing resistance at the bottom end of the cloud. Could see a reversal in and around these levels at 151. Bottom in the cloud chart resistance, if that remains in place, we're looking at uh, going much lower to the front end of the cloud here at 144.75. So watch out, there's a potential downside risk there. Basic resources. In a fairly uh, late stage correction, yes, uh, been selling off for quite some time, underperforming the FTSE All Share. We're now looking at old cloud charts and old lows for support here. And there's a potential for a rebound here back up to just do a technical retracement of the sell off back up, a 50% retracement up to 716. So watching very closely for a MACD to come back in here because this price action is very encouraging because we are bouncing off a. Um, December last year, December low, yeah. So there's potential for short-term relief rally back up to fight resistance at the bottom end of the cloud. But overall, the long-term picture remain negative because price actions taking place below the cloud. Chemicals, a little bit extended, need a bit of a pullback. Nice breakout out of a consolidation range here. Rebounded from cloud chart support. And uh, now we're looking for a technical retracement and, and some profit taking in and around these, uh, these levels. Okay, but steady as you go, front cloud still indicates nice uh, upside trend. We could see, uh, a, you know, after this breakout, we could see a bit of a technical retracement and then rebounding off the 20-day moving average. So watching closely for that, but taking some profit off the table on that one. 
yeah, we've got uh, cons construction as well. Broke out uh, out of this trading range, trying to find a slightly indecisive candle there. We need to see a continuation, a follow through of this breakout. Otherwise, we can see consolidation come back in to test the top in the cloud. Front cloud indicate that we have a, a, a uptrend emerging. So it's just a question of buying these pullbacks for this um, uptrend when this uptrend recommences. Financial services, steady as she goes. Just these cloud chart rebounds are nice entry points. A little bit extended now. Could see it come back to the top end of the cloud here at 65, and there'll be a buyer at that level. Watching really closely for the MACD to signal any kind of profit taking opportunity there. Food and beverages. Still stuck in a sideways trading range, bouncing off the top end of the cloud here for support. That can be a nice entry point. Uh, front end of the cloud is twisting, negative though, so there's a bit of a risk there. But you could buy the uh, trade this one off the rebound on the top end of the cloud. Healthcare, struggling to find support within the cloud. Bottom in the cloud is a key support zone. Next target would be the uh, resistance here at 564, as well as the top end of the cloud. So there's a short term potential as it's grinding higher into cloud chart resistance. Front end of the cloud is indicating that there's more downside to come when this consolidation or this uh, you know uh, rebound test is completed, uh, when, we, we, when we retest the top end of cloud chart for resistance, we could see that sell off continuing. But now it's a technical retracement within cloud chart resistance with the target here at um, 564. Industrial goods and services, a little bit extended, looking for a pullback, but it's a nice a steady uptrend. You just need to buy this uh, pullback to the 20 day uh, moving average as entry points. So slightly extended there, waiting patiently for the pullback there, but uh, still looking strong. Insurance, also trying to break out your rebounded from support at the bottom end of the cloud, broke past the top end of the cloud, old highs is the next key resistance area here as a, a target to uh, take profit off, off the table there. So we should see resistance coming into play here at the uh, 720 zone. Media struggling, uh, you know, with sideways moving pattern for quite some time, underperforming the market at periods. Uh, trying to test support you at the top in the cloud. That can be a nice entry point for a swing trade back up to the old resistance highs. Yeah, so watching very closely to see if the MACD is going to give us any guidance on that. But it, it looks like it's successfully trying to retest support at the top in the cloud with uh, 642 as a significant support zone. So watching that MACD very closely for an entry point. Oil and gas struggling with price action below the cloud. Downtrend remain in place here with old lows as key support zone. And we could see a rebound from these uh, lows here. Uh, back up the bottom in the cloud for, uh, for uh, you know, for resistance test. So the cloud is the key resistance zone and we're buying old support lows from a potential rebound. So there's a couple of points in that uh, swing trade. Personal and household products looking at uh, coming support to come in here at the top end of the cloud. We had a nice strong rally. It's now forming a new base at the top end of the cloud. So this is the kind of entry zone in and around these levels at 1336 and 1350. That's a key support zone. Uh, it's testing for support of the top end of the cloud there. Real estate breakout. Now it's consolidating. It's looking for support. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's going to look for support at yeah, the top end of the cloud. And that can be a nice swing trade for another additional entry point in this one. We've had a MACD sell, so that consolidation is underway. Expect a little bit of weakness there as that consolidation takes place. Retail snap back radically. Ag aggressively, a very choppy market, not a particularly good one from a cloud chart perspective because the cloud's very much moving sideways, so we don't really have a particularly strong trend in place here. MACD signal gave a nice little trade there, but we backed down here, testing support at the top in the cloud, so you could see any potential weakness here as an entry point for a swing trade back up to the old highs of 325. Okay. Technology a little bit extended here. Time to take some profit off the table. We're looking at old highs here as a uh, key resistance zone. And we're a bit extended from the actual uh, uh, cloud. So I would expect some consolidation to come back into play here uh, and then uh, a rebound at the old lows here, uh, which should now act as the new support zone. Telecoms, trading below the cloud, you know, a bit of a, a sideways moving pattern, not a particularly strong one from a cloud chart trading perspective. Front end of the cloud is turning, uh, turning 
we've twisted around at the front end of the cloud, so we should see some uh, potential uh, movement coming through. But this is a difficult one. The, the upside potentially is, is back up to bottom in the cloud yet 516. So there's a short term trading opportunity there. We've just had a MACD buy, so there's a couple of points uh, in that one. Travel and leisure, a little bit extended, but the holiday season coming up should do well. Looking at buying the pullback here on a uh, retest of the uh, 20 day and 10 day moving averages. Uh, so slow and steady as she goes, it's, as, uh, as they say. Utilities. Uh, fighting for support at the bottom in the cloud could uh, see a potential rebound from this level back up to this resistance zone here at the top in the cloud here at 726 and 724. So there's a short term trading opportunity there, but watch out for the MACD to give a buy signal here. But not a particularly nice trade when it's very choppy like that. Uh, remains very much range bound. Okay. So looking for the FTSE to maintain. Either break, uh, stay above the uh, cloud, bottom of the cloud, you have to support, then we should see a move higher. If it fails through this week, then we could see a move lower to the old lows here and the bottom in the cloud uh, later on. But so far, for 200 overall fighting for support at the bottom in with potential upside to the top end of the cloud. If support fails, we're looking at the old lows as the new support. Okay. Until next time, happy trading.